Let's go. Your end approaches. Seals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Failed to send you. Savor it for me. broken. Ha! Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Savor it for me. approaches. its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Savor it for me.
humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Savor it for me. broken. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The fight is set.
the Department of Ecology? Ah, uh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Huh? My memories of Arlen and Adler are hazy. I need to remember the other person asked to mention. that's alive, but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. How's it going? Did you find the information you're after? I see. Is that what Hinkle and think? At least that counts as a lead. See? My researchers are pretty outstanding. Anxious me? <laughs> Is it that obvious? After the Legion's invasion, the space station has been under constant scrutiny. Physical damage can be easily repaired, but it takes a long time to heal the wounds in people's hearts. Some researchers have been questioning the management and security of the space station ever since the invasion. Things had settled down a bit with the reconstruction efforts, but the researchers' disappearances have rattled them again. Yes. Four researchers have inexplicably disappeared in a matter of days. No exit logs, no traces. Vanished. People were just starting to regain their footing after the catastrophe. I didn't want panic to spread, so I suppressed the reports and told the security department to investigate in secret. However, as you can see, it's hard to keep secrets in a sardine can like this. Rebuilding trust is harder than establishing it in the first place. I'm concerned someone's pulling strings to sway public opinion. Anyway, the most important thing is to get to the bottom of the disappearances. Th that's okay, but thank you for the offer. Uh, aren't you helping Madame Hertha with something already? Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. So I did consult someone else other than Hinkle. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. By the way, I heard about the thing mentioned, and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space. So I did consult someone. The other person should be from the Department of Insight. I need to remember who it is. Identifying that person is crucial. It could be the key to making sense of everything. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. Send me a signal when you see Trace. I think she mentioned something. If only there were some... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ahead. Hey, 
What brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Mm-hmm, sure. Can I help you with something? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Small scale, best left under the table. But if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Here too. My memories are just a jumbled mess of words. Did my memory piece together irrelevant information? Now I remember. The other person is Emily. She was at the base zone. What did Emily say? Looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess, I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Mm hmm. Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can... Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Another smart-looking youngster. <laughs> Wonderful. It's about time we had some new recruits. Huh. Asta told you to find me? A curio that doesn't have a body but is alive. Isn't the Department of Ecology full of curio experts? That's got nothing to do with the Department of Insight. However, I've heard of such a species. A colleague who came back from a business trip said that the Sienjo Alliance has life forms like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I was merely relaying information. I didn't mean I'd help you. <sighs> the atmosphere on the space station has been getting stranger lately. It's risky taking sides. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned seems to be what inspired Adler. The disappearances Asta mentioned are likely related to Arlen's investigations, too. Now I should be able to tie everything together. The Sienjo species Emily mentioned seems to be what inspired Adler. I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Just as I thought, I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot.
I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. Well, how did you know? I see. Could you also tell that Lady Asta was feeling the pressure? I'll be honest with you. It's been tough. The surveillance didn't capture anything regarding the researcher's disappearance. There's only one clue. Adler observed that the automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances occurred. That means that every victim's disappearance was accompanied by some inexplicable fire. When we made visits to the scenes, some of the witness testimonies seemed to agree with this. The words they used were spontaneous combustion of the human body. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? She's not wrong, but that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Huh? What did I say? Ah, uh, she's not wrong, but that doesn't feel entirely right, either. Right! They're called Heliobi! I guess you could say that Wubaboos and Heliobi are sort of like cousins. Both are types of energy life form. Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Spontaneous combustion of the human body. That is most likely the truth. Let me remember my initial conversation with Herta, just in case. I need to go over it from the start, starting with the conversation I had with Herta. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... Send me a signal when you see traces of- I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints. Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an energy life form. It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Send me a signal when you see traces of it. That's not the point. I wouldn't be bothering with it if it didn't have something to do with the Genius Society. Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you.
I commend your stamina for recounting that interminable tale. You must be exhausted. My ears certainly are. So, to sum it up, the last time you laid eyes on Herta was in her office. She sent you on a wild goose chase for some trinket, the curio. After which you knew nothing else until Lady Asta contacted you. If that's the narrative you're sticking to, then indulge me. Who, pray tell, can substantiate this captivating drama? Affirmation. We can ask Herta herself. Well, if you lace up those boots and start sprinting now, you might just catch the IPC shuttle in four system hours. But as it stands, not a single soul can corroborate her story. Mr. Ratio, your style of questioning would seem to have a preconceived bias. Apologies, it's an unfortunate habit of mine. When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. It is also the most efficient method, judging from my experience. Seeking answers with a negative hypothesis in mind is still valid research. It can still help us reach the truth. If she is truly innocent, she can clear her name with answers. Based on your story, you met with Herta because she specifically wanted you for an assignment. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. I remember now. Back then... Back then...
That's enough pretending. Please be quiet. And the assignment involves a curio that doesn't even have a name. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and baubles. And yet, she singles out one nameless ordinary curio? Hmm. It's hard for me to imagine she would treasure one curio so much. I remember now. That's enough pretend. Herta's collection. An endless trove of trinkets and bombs. I remember now. Ba That's enough. Herta's collection. An endless trove of... The curio isn't the point. Herta was only addressing it because of its relation to the Genius Society. I would imagine the curio is the creation of a genius. Affirmation, it holds some special meaning to Herta. Yes, that seems logically sound. Then you said you asked Asta for help with the lost curio. However, she decided to hold her tongue until now? So what's the story? Are you full of fanciful fiction? Or is Asta the one hoarding secrets like they're going out of style? The space station has been very distrustful of its higher management ever since the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Another severe incident would further intensify suspicion and cause great internal strife. Oh, so that explains why Lady Astor approved of my participation. After all, the Intelligentsia Guild's representative wouldn't be linked to the space station, but would still share the IPC's position. They wouldn't be partial to anyone, but would still act for the space station's benefit. Two birds with one stone. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. Clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. I remember now. That's enough pretend. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm- I remember now. That's enough pre- Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the- I remember now. That's enough pretend. Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. Doubt me all you like. I'm just an outsider who got unexpectedly dragged into this mess. You and I are no different. We both stumbled into this, but you decided to assume the role of interrogator. Oh? 
Your point being? Cut the act. You're perfectly aware of the point I'm making. Correction. There may be a correlation. Researchers' disappearances, you say? Yes, I've heard the responsibility of sorting out that mess has been thrust upon Arlen, head of the security department. I remember now. That's enough pretend. Researchers' disappearances clearly, though, cut the act. Your perfect correction. There may be researchers' disappearances. You say. clearly, though, it bears no connection to Herta's puppet being attacked. No, if I recall correctly, Asta said one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. Don't know the location. Isn't that the same as missing? She did say that, but then what? You need to provide evidence to show incidents are linked. There should be evidence. Arlen discovered something odd when he was investigating the disappearances. The space station's automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances happened. Arlen mentioned that each victim disappeared due to spontaneous combustion. Huh. But there are no signs of a fire anywhere in the space station. That's what's so odd about it. But this information has an additional layer of importance. This may not be direct evidence, but if the system also recorded the fire suppression system activating when the puppet was attacked, then there's ample evidence to indicate that these two cases are linked. If these two incidents were caused by the same person, then the suspicion put on you would decrease, provided that this fire suppression record does exist in the system. We'll see in the main control room. Let's go. Uh, huh? What was that? Parator News Flash. This is an urgent broadcast. I repeat, this is an urgent broadcast. News has finally emerged regarding the attack on Madame Herta. The Annihilation Gang has claimed responsibility for the incident and warned of further activity. The Guild has expressed utmost condemnation. <laughs> the gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. They give no thought to the masses. Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. Yet always there are cowards trying in vain to reject their favor and escape the wounds. Flee then. Flee as far as you can. No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. This is... A declaration of war. And an announcement of what's to come. They have set their sights on you. The Legion's impact remains. And the Annihilation Gang is already paying a visit. It almost seems like this space station is more suited for the path of destruction than erudition. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora, a world long since destroyed. His race, the ever burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. A group of pitiful 
lunatics. I like Dr. Primitive's assessment of them. The value Nanook sees in the Annihilation Gang is perhaps far less than one might see in a child who deliberately broke a vase. The Fire Demons have a cruel temper and instinctively ignite and destroy items. Ifrit is particularly evil and cruel, even among his kin. The Everflame Mansion he heads is even the arch-enemy of the Japella Brotherhood, despite both groups belonging to the Annihilation Gang. Japella Brotherhood? I've heard that name somewhere. On the Stellaron Hunters Wanted posters, they stand accused of inciting the Japella Rebellion, the uprising that caused the downfall of the Brotherhood. The Japella Palace crumbled in the scorching flames and Ifrit's power has grown by the day ever since. Would you believe it would be merely a coincidence? Something similar is about to happen here. Spontaneous combustion? For him, it's as routine as me finding fault in everything. The disappearance of researchers and the puppet were all part of the plan. And after that, that video will soon circulate, and this station's fate? Flames. Nothing but flames. The destruction of trust. I'm afraid more than trust will be destroyed here. You need to start acting now if you want to survive. You, come with me. You have a superior strategy? Pray tell, do we set the two of them loose, turning whispered fears into full-blown pandemonium? If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora, a world... It's getting late. Where to now? Good. This is serious. The security department will do whatever we can to help you. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Sure, but the security department already combed through their backgrounds and personal relationships. We didn't find anything odd. The Annihilation Gang are a group of die-hard thugs. They might be attacking indiscriminately. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Okay. 
Take it. Remember these names. Find a friend who's tuned in to the gossip around here and tell them you want to know the relationship between these people. I don't know. That depends on your friend. What else do you need me to do? Take me to the one who knows the most about curios within the Department of Ecology, if you would be so kind. <sighs> he... he disappeared too. I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best of times. But it's been a few system hours and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the Master Control Zone. He was with Wen Shirling from the Department of Implement Arts. Lead the way. You said Adler was on the verge of a discovery, yet couldn't confer his knowledge. Intriguing and frustrating, to say the least. If his disappearance is also related to the case here, then maybe he really did stumble upon something... important. True. The key words that got Adler thinking were energy life forms. Duke Inferno is also an energy life form. Coincidence? We need to investigate this. I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best, but it's been a few system hours and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the master control zone. He was with Wen Shirling from the Department of Implement Arts.
Adler, he... he disappeared! <laughs> he, he's been acting really weird recently. Always researching stuff like spontaneous combustion, supernatural activities. He doesn't even answer me when I speak to him. He, he was talking to himself. What did he talk about? He kept saying the word... Phrase? Phrase. want him back. But if you want to find him, he was reading this booklet the last time I saw him. I don't know exactly what he's searching for, but I hope it can help you. Countenance suggests tragedy. So the researchers who disappeared were at the forefront of challenging management. Isn't that a curious puzzle piece? I finished browsing through this booklet while you were replying to messages. It recorded the lives of a few Genius Society members. I'd say it contains some interesting information. It's time to go back and chat with Lady Asta and Mr. Screwlum. The moon shines on the truth.
You're back. I've been monitoring the dark web. I barely managed to stop the video from spreading. The incident hasn't grown any bigger, for now. How are things with you? <sighs> Less than promising. Or to use a different phrase, we're in deep trouble. We're running out of time. Let's retrace our steps and evaluate the situation. From the data we've collected, there are three avenues we can explore. First, Adler's disappearance. He must have come across some vital information. The next angle is what the victims have in common, distasteful as that discussion may be. Last is the abilities of Duke Inferno and the secret of spontaneous human combustion. During prior unrest, instigated by the Everflame Mansion, some testified to seeing miscreants materialize from the Inferno. The flickering tongues of Duke Inferno's fire carrying a certain property, and this property is the secret behind spontaneous human combustion. Look, the answer is right there. This booklet describes a kind of fire that can phase through dimensions, claiming it burns through worlds, leaving numerous scions of flame behind. The kindling of this unique flame must be the missing curio that Hurt has been searching for, and Duke Inferno is evidently spawned from it. I fear that this is the truth Adler discovered. When Schurling said, Adler kept muttering about a phrase before he disappeared. I believe this word was actually phase. He saw member 29 Sir Call's research topic in this booklet and verified his hypothesis. As a scion of the phase flame, Duke Inferno would naturally share similar capabilities. Full on phase shifting may be a bit too ambitious for him, but teleportation? That's likely more his speed. That is the truth of the spontaneous human combustion. The researchers didn't disappear. They were moved. We don't know where the victims went, but Duke Inferno's plan is now clear. And the sudden and consecutive disappearances provided the best environment for chaos to fester. Once the seed of unrest has sprouted, he will then send out an announcement for an imminent attack. It will push the crisis from the dark into the light, catalyzing it into new growth and bloom. The next step would be to ignite the spark. Look at those researchers who disappeared. What would happen if someone realized their similarities? I need say no more. It was all a premeditated trap to stir up chaos on the space station. We're running out of time.
this... No, it isn't enough. Indeed, it needs one more spark. What do you mean? If you limit your involvement to this, there's still room for excuses. If it were me, I wouldn't give you the chance. Oh. Could it be? Huh? What is it? Stay calm. Asta was merely teleported. Her life was not in danger. Based on first-hand experience, I have ascertained that Ifrit's flame is simply a splinter of the primordial phase flame, lacking any phase shift ability. Logic. Asta is still within the confines of the space station. That flame must still be somewhere inside the station. Find it, and we'll find a way to bring her back. <laughs> a splinter, you say? The arrogance of the gifted is charming in its own way. Try then if you must. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out, his malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. I will head to Herta's office and activate the folded space in the Curio storage room. With some changes to its parameters, I can use it to block the fire's teleportation routes and seal it inside the station. Mr. Ratio, please go with Miss Trailblazer and contain the fire. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out, his malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. The moon shines on the truth. Danger.